Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all the news for Minecraft 1.17 from the last week. And so if you like Minecraft update videos like this one, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.17 news and other Minecraft videos as well. So yes, we just got confirmation that there won't be a 21W09A snapshot. No snapshot this week, and I hope to get a snapshot out later, but we'll get into the tweets that announced this later on in this video. First of all, I want to show you what's added in Minecraft Snapshot 21W08B, because we did get a snapshot last week, Friday I believe. And so this snapshot fixed two bugs that were introduced in Snapshot 21W08A. And that's that uh, iron didn't generate in normal stone, so these blocks actually didn't generate. It's only the blocks that generated in the deep slate that would actually generate. And now they fixed that in this update. You can see iron generates up here. And also the distribution of redstone was tweaked a little bit as well. So those were just two bugs that were fixed in the B snapshot of last week. And so I was going to do a stream waiting for the 21W09A snapshot, but just before we started, we got the confirmation that the snapshot wouldn't happen. So it was very nice, so I didn't have to start the stream and then disappoint a whole lot of people. But let's just now go over to the tweets that announced that the snapshot isn't here and all the other tweets we got during the last week as well, which some were pretty interesting. And so here we can once again see the 21W08B updates, just these two bugs that have been fixed. And then right here we have the tweet by Sly Slime. Hey everyone, there will not be any snapshot this week. Hope to have a new one for you next week. So we've been getting a whole lot of snapshots the last couple of weeks. They didn't miss anyone, but uh, now we won't be having a snapshot 21W09A. Next one will be 21W10A. So let's just be excited for that one and let's not dwell too much and be angry about this because this just means that they're working more on one snapshot which means that we'll get better stuff in the next one and we also got a tweet by king b dogs frogant no frogs today and just for reference yeah so no snapshot day today sadly and also not this week and finally, we also got a tweet by Adrian Ustergaard, also saying that there won't be a snapshot this week, sadly. But that's for just no snapshot today or this week. Let's just move on to some of the tweets that actually are more interesting. So here once again, snapshot 21W08B was out, so Slicelime tweeted about that. And of course, there's still the bug in the game that you can't get the different types of deep slate using the stone cutter or any crafting recipe, actually. And then we have a tweet here by King Bedox, who was just typing a whole lot of stuff over here about that it's actually very difficult to make an open world sandbox game. And you can read into this a bit further as well, there's lots of uh, text here. I will leave all of these tweets in the description down below if you want to read them in detail or see the reactions or whatever. Or leave some yourself of course. So here we have a tweet by Henrik Nieberg, also one of the developers of Minecraft, and he says the cool thing with crack carvers is that surprising things like this can happen way down on the ground. And so let's look at this and let's actually listen to this. And so there we go, while he was deep down underground all the way below Y is zero, as you can see by all the deep slate around him, he could hear the thunder and when he walked a little bit further he could also see the rain coming all the way from the top of the world, falling all the way down into these deep caves. And this is now possible because of the new crack carvers that were added in I feel like 21W08A. So sort of ravines but just larger. And down here we have an idea by someone who tweeted, can you please change the name to crevices since this is what comes up when you look for a crevice on Google. And Herc Nieberg replied with good idea so this is probably what's going to be happening. They will change the name of crack carvers to crevices. Then right here we have another post by Henrik Nieberg who said, hey Minecrafters, if you've played survival on this week's snapshot, how are the cave sizes? Survival mode, not spectator. So yeah, before the cave sizes, well, there were lots and lots of caves. Then they tweaked that down a bit to just a couple of caves. And last week's snapshot, they added the normal caves back as well. And so from this vote, we can see that 70% of people think the caves are right. 
at the moment and the rest is split between too big and too small and i feel like myself yes i'm also around about that the cave sizes are fine of course we have to see how this all works out when they add the different cave types like the lush caves the dripstone caves and the deep dark biomes we we'll have to see how that works out and how the sizes are then of course but for now the cave sizes are very good and then down here Henrik also replied to a comment are the ore changes permanent we might tweak it a few more times before release depending on feedback this does seem like the ore changes are pretty much going to be like it is now but they might tweak a little thing here that's what I get from this they won't overhaul it drastically anymore and, and we have another tweet by Henrik Nieberg. Forgot to mention in the changelog we also added some more variation to the old cave carvers. Width, height, floor cutoff etc. Just to make them blend in a bit better with the noise caves instead of being instantly recognizable. And so this is for uh, last week's snapshot 21W08A. They also changed the old cave types a bit is what they are saying over here. To make them blend in with the new cave types. And I think that's a very good thing because otherwise they wouldn't really mix together very well. So it's nice that they thought about this as well. And then somebody replied with if you find a stronghold it's very obvious uh, where it is because of this sort of stone layer around it and Henrik responded that yeah it's a bit annoying adds to the overgrowing backlog so they have lots of stuff they still have to do and still have to fix and of course we'll see those things added and changed in future snapshots and then it's always nice to just check Felix's tweets just because they're never very serious but it's always nice to see what they're thinking about so he has here for example uh, for today I'm spending the time as a trainee creeper currently observing the daily life of working creeper to help me understand how they see the world from their perspective and just yeah i just suggest looking at some of his tweets because they're very funny and for example here we have uh, whenever i feel dumb i like to remind myself that minecraft players believe the color black can emit glowing light <coughs> glow squid maybe <coughs> and then right here we have a tweet by jasper he is one of the lead artists of minecraft as it says over here so he makes the textures for minecraft and of course we've seen lots about the different ores and so Especially the iron ore was not liked very much. You saw it at the start of this video. How it looks like in last week's snapshot. So hopefully in next week's snapshot. Iron ore is going to be, look a little bit more like this. Which is much more acceptable I feel like. The other one was just a little bit too out there. But these are the ore textures as he's currently working on them. And he's also responded to a comment over here. So somebody asked if they will add just the ore part of the texture to different types of blocks but Jasper responds with you mean like an overlay we consider doing that but I think the simple solution is better and gives artists more freedom to properly integrate the ores into stone textures and it's also nice to just have more textures in the game in general and then finally we have another tweet by Jasper which is the cobbled deep slate is there just to give the option of having the side texture on top and bottom so last week they added the cobbled deep slate and they changed the deep slate texture as well to make the top and bottom textures different and the cobbled deep slate doesn't have this and as I said they didn't want to remove the old deep slate block where the site was on all sides from the game because some builders would be upset about that so that's why cobbled deep slate texture has the texture it has and there are actually one two three four five six extra tweets here from him if you want to read through these I will once again leave the links to all these tweets in the description down below if you want to check them out fully and so there we go that's all the minecraft 1.70 news i have for you today main point no snapshot 21w09a and next week we'll most likely have a snapshot of course it's still not final but most likely we will have a snapshot 21w10a if you like this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more minecraft 1.17 videos and other minecraft videos then I want to thank my tier 3 member the Smickler. Thank you so much for coming a tier 3 member. If you also become a member click the blue join button below the video. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So until then. Mm, bye bye.